All right, this is a review of this uh, watermelon uh, slicer dicer doodad that I seen on uh, one of these as seen on TV things. I seen it on eBay for like two, three bucks, so I bought it uh, from China. Okay, so this is the way that it works. It's got a little pin over here. When you squeeze the handle, it just rides along that pin. All right. This pin is actually used for cutting the watermelon. So I'm going to show you. First, you got to take it this way because there's no instructions that came with it. And you got to dig it in this way and scoop down and around and lift up. And then you turn it around and you use this to, to squeeze and lift out. And then you put it in one piece in a bowl and uh, you can slice it up accordingly once you get it in a bowl. But you, you get most of the watermelon out of the melon. Okay, so let me just show you how this is done. Uh, it's only my second time trying this. Uh, I did it on the other half already and it was kind of disastrous trying to figure it out. Okay, but uh, uh, here, this is basically the way that it goes. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll start right in the middle. It will go right, right along the edge over here, right along near the rind. And you got to push down and then just pull across. Try not to use too much force and then pull up and right where you cut you're going to put this back in there and you're going to squeeze it to lift and you see you got most of the melon out I didn't cut all the way down the bottom here but I got most of the melon out all right here you're going to keep doing this now it gets should get easier as you do the rest of the melon Got a piece of the rind over here this time. All right, see that? I'll, once again, I'll slice that up later. I'm pulling that out. You can see I'm getting most of the melon in here. Yeah. See that? No rind, but I'm getting the the melon out. Tell me how quick. When's the last time you cut a melon this quick? All the way down to the rind. See, same same shape as the melon. All right, turn it around. Yeah, now it's just falling apart. That's good. All right. Great, huh? As you're pushing down and, and pulling up, you gotta try not to squeeze, because when you squeeze, these go together and you're not gonna cut out a good enough uh, shape. You're gonna start cutting narrow. So you gotta remember, you're, when you're pushing down, you're just pushing down and then and pulling without squeezing, okay? If you squeeze, it's gonna screw things up. All right, look at that. Oof the whole melon out. We'll do it along the edge over here too. Get what we can. Alright. And bada bang, bada boom. This melon has been sliced and diced. And look inside of that. Nothing but rind left. I got all the way down to the rind. See that? nothing no no melon left in there did a great job pulling all that melon out in big melon chunks now I could just gotta slice these accordingly I guess I could slice it with this or uh, put it in the bowl and slice it that way and that's the review of the whatever you call this watermelon slicer dicer as seen on TV thingamajig tool it's actually pretty good all right, but you're, you may waste half a watermelon trying to figure it out. Hopefully this review will save you that effort, okay? And this is actually not sharp at all. This is a little bit serrated over here. This is only used for grabbing the slices out if you don't grab them with your fingers like you've seen I mostly did. All right, and that's it. Hope this helps.